When it comes to developing sustainable energy systems, several critical areas must be prioritized. Head of the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at UE St. Augustine, Professor of Power Systems and Sustainable Energy, Sanjay Bahadur Singh, listed these areas as he stressed how important it is that the transition takes place. And it is therefore very wise to consider the role of liquefied natural gas facilitating this transition and green hydrogen in the future. By embracing these low carbon resources with smart design, we can reduce our reliance. Energy storage technologies also play a crucial role in this transition. Minister of Public Utilities Marvin Gonzalez said the government is fully cognizant of the importance of renewable energy as envisioned in the net zero pathway and is fully committed to the development of the country's renewable resource. Over the years, the Commission's research has included solar PV pilot projects at TNTEC Mount Hope, the University of Trinidad and Tobago Omera campus, a TNTEC PowerGen hybrid solar and wind system at the Islamic Children's Home in Gasparillo, and wind power testing at Ministers Bay and Flagstaff in Tobago. General Manager of TNTEC, Kuvis Francois, said the nation's declining natural gas reserves, coupled with the requirement to reduce our carbon footprint, has hastened the Commission's transition from fossil fuels to an energy mix involving renewable energy. This, along with other national renewable energy initiatives, will favorably impact our energy security and energy sustainability goals. The Commission is also implementing smart grid technologies to improve system reliability. We have already installed dozens of automatic network devices that work, but that work synergistically to reduce the extent and duration of outages. The Carilec 2023 Engineering and Procurement Conference and Exhibition continues at the Hyatt Regency Hotel to July 27th. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TDT News.